Okay, in uh, database security, um, well, I mean, we, we have talked about different aspects, and I have talked about um, the uh, different security protections that you should check for in the database engine, which should be a part of the database, but you have to, you know, find out, make sure that in fact it is and when there is a when there is a shortcoming when there is a shortfall when there is um, simply a difference in the security that is provided by the database engine and the security that you want that you need for your particular system your enterprise's concerns, then you have to uh, deal with that primarily through the uh, the front end, and and this is where most people are dealing with uh, security, database security, particularly is on the front end. Um, doing uh, the extra protections that you need um, that are not being provided for whatever reason um, or the, the extra considerations uh, that, you, that you want, that you need um, that are not provided for or, or that uh, are not provided sufficiently for your needs um, you're doing it on the front end now, the, the front end and, and um, ensuring that the, uh, the security is provided in the front end um, is, is the common way of dealing with it. And this is it's where people uh, typically uh, put the, their security controls. Um, as I mentioned in the example of the, uh, the particular uh, church database, you know, everything was built into the front end. And that was all the provision that was made. So, um, you know, the end runs uh, that people do with direct access, uh, which pretty much always defeat any kind of front end uh, security, uh, were unaddressed. So we want to um, ensure with uh, the front end that you, you put in proper security protections. Um, the, the access control, um, the rights, uh, view restrictions, um, uh, function restrictions that you want to put in for different kinds of users, you are typically going to put in in the front end. Uh, so there, you know, there are different ways that we can do this. We can limit what fields our users can see. Um, we can certainly limit um, their ability to enter data, update data. Um, we can uh, restrict their abilities, limit their abilities uh, to generate reports. Um, we can uh, restrict the number of uh, queries that we, they can make. Um, we can restrict the fields on which they can make queries. So, you know, there are, uh, there's lots of possibilities in terms of uh, adding security functions at the front end. We just have to make sure that we actually do it and ensure that the front end does provide any additional uh, security functions that we need and that aren't provided in, in some other way. Uh, whether that is by the operating system, whether that is by the platform, whether that is by the database engine, whether that is by middleware sometimes. Uh, you know, just make sure that those functions you're relying on are there and if they aren't there, then yeah, you, you have to uh, build it in 
to the front end in some way. There are a number of different functions that can be dealt with on the front end of the database. And, you know, we've got lots of possibilities. Again, you just have to make sure that you actually do do it. Um, so, uh, this, is, this is where most of the uh, system development security work is going to happen. If it happens, if you actually do it, if you do the risk analysis, it, you know, everything that we have talked about up to this point, uh, you know, just make sure that you do, in fact, do it and don't just rely on the fact that, you know, X database system uh, uh, is supposed to be secure. You know, make sure. Make sure that it is as secure as you want it in the way that you want it. And if not, build that into the front end. Have additional functions. Um, now, of course, any of these, uh, the, the functions that you build in to the database, the, the additional security provisions you put in to the front end of the database are only of service to you when you, in fact, have them there and, and use them. And if uh, there are ways of going around it, if there are ways of attacking the database files directly or the database engine directly, then your front-end protections are no longer there. You, you don't have protection. So you have to make sure that uh, when you, you have a front-end, um, that front end is the only way that you can access the files. Uh, that this is not, you know, simply a web-based front end where people can do direct calls to uh, the, the system, which is accessible over the internet. Um, that, uh, you know, people can't build their own, can't, that people can't uh, submit queries to uh, the either the back-end database or uh, the middleware, uh, the interface languages that you may have. Um, so, once again, uh, you know, make sure that your security is seamless, that the, uh, the protections that you put into the front end are effective because the front end is the only way to get to the database if you're going to be doing that. Otherwise, you're going to have to do a lot more work in terms of the, the back-end database and uh, any other components of the system to make sure that they have much more solid uh, security. So, 